Droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today we're gonna talk about Star Wars sexy time because remember how uh, all of those people at Lucasfilm and Disney they're like, Ree! All you people on YouTube, shut the fuck up! Star Wars is for kids, stop complaining as a kid's movie, Ree! Um, yeah, the, those people that like to complain about uh, you know, Star Wars criticism and that it's a, it's a movie about space wizards intended for children. Um, so it's okay to shove, uh, sex, uh, down kids' throats, basically, and, you know, put, uh, sex in a book that's aimed for children. Lovely. Uh, I, I bet you these are the people that support cuties. Anyways, uh, l let's read this. Remember the book that's got the fucking rock? The Star Wars rock? So this is that book. Uh, so it says right here, uh, Affy shrugged. As she double-checked their readings, the wavering blue lights of hyperspace glinted off every bit of metal in the cockpit, making it look beautifully electrified. Even Geode sparkled slightly. Geode the rock. As she said, you don't have to have sex with someone to love them. You should know that if anyone does. Indeed, I do, but other beings seem to value copulation as a form of bonding, Leox then made a face and swore. Not appropriate, sorry. He meant well, she knew, but Affy hated it when he had treated her like a kid instead of as an equal. Fortunately, he didn't do that much. It's okay, I think I heard of sex once already. Ugh. <laughs> So again, this little section of that book is from uh, this book, Into the Dark Star Wars The High Republic uh, by Claudia Gray. Now, uh, you remember how they said, oh yeah, this is for kids, this is for kids. When you actually go and you see it's listed, the age range is actually 12 to 18 years old. So it's a, you know, a young, a young adult's novel, except I would never consider a 12 year old young adult that's still like prepubescent, right? Yeah, kids don't start going to puberty to like 13, 14, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, as far as my memory serves me, I think that that happens a little bit, you know, when they're a little bit older, but I guess it's like preteen, uh, 12 years old. But still, so I guess like the sexy time stuff is coming up. But still, the fact that these weirdos like to go on Twitter and be like, Ree, it's for children! Rah! It's like, holy shit! Um... Well, that, that uh, you know, I think it's kind of dumb because it's like, oh, I wonder where Luke and Leia came from. Because then the whole point, you know, Padme and Anakin fell in love. So when a mommy and a daddy uh, love each other very much, then all of a sudden a Luke and a Leia appear in the galaxy. So, uh, but, but then they yell at us, yeah, Star Wars is for children, you're not allowed to criticize it. Now, going over to StarWars.com, uh, StarWars.com, you know, you scroll down, you scroll down, here's the High Republic, alright? So we got the High Republic, so these characters that we're talking about, uh, the one that's talking about the sexy time, this character, uh, Leox, so, uh, this is him, uh, also this is the video on it, which is ironically not on their YouTube channel. So, for those of you that do not know, the Star Wars YouTube channel has been getting uh, really ratioed by everyone on every single uh, video. You can see the little percents because I have Social Blade up. Uh, you can see it's like only the like to dislike ratio on this video is 7%. So, they used to upload all of the High Republic videos and they haven't uploaded this one onto the Star Wars YouTube channel because they don't want it getting ratioed. They uploaded it only to their Instagram and it started getting ratioed there, and they deleted it after two and a half hours. I did a video on it, because I covered it there. Uh, you guys can go check that out, and some of the comments from the Instagram is still included in this. But this is the video where it introduces the Star Wars rock. Let me actually click on Centuries it. before- ah! Volume. So, uh, here we go. Here's the fucking rock. So this is the chick talking about the sexy time with this dude, who is a full-grown man, they make uh, a point of talking about how young she is. And then there's Geo the fucking rock. So there's the Star Wars rock. And so this chick is having a talk about sex 
with this dude who is asexual. So let me read you about this dude, which is also in the author's own words. This is the 1990s Matthew McConaughey version of Han Solo. So this says, Leox Jossie, which is, uh, this is an anagram for Leo is gay, by the way. Like when you, when an anagram is when you take, um, you know, words, and then you, you rearrange them, and it, it actually makes uh, another thing, which is the hidden message. So the hidden message in Leox Jossie's name is that Leo is gay. Uh, let's see. Leox Jossie is a charming rogue pilot of the vessel who may or may not have a, fa a fondness for spice. That's basically the Star Wars equivalent of drugs. Uh, despite his undeniable good looks, romantic and sexual encounters are not imperative to him. In fact, he identifies as asexual. His primary focus is piloting the vessel with his navigator, Geode, and, uh, uh so yeah. So, he navigates a fucking spaceship with a rock, and he doesn't like to have sex, and he's a drug addict. What a great character for little kids to look up to. But so, basically, the plot of this book, uh, Star Wars High Republic Into the Dark, is that they have some Jedi that are going, uh, the, you know, Affy and Leox are the pilots of the vessel with Geo the fucking rock, and they're taking a couple Jedi with them to go see the Great Disaster, which is a car crash in outer space that fucks up some planets because they're trying to explain the Holdo fucking maneuver. And so they land on this abandoned space station, which, guess what, has the Star Wars equivalent of the fucking Borg, which are just... Borg uh, in Star Wars, in the Star Wars universe, that are just plants that are connected through with space roots. Uh, here, let me let me show you on the Star Wars YouTube channel. It's this, the the Dringar or whatever. Uh, let me turn this volume off. So the, the Dringar are basically, uh, they're all, they have one mind, they're all connected from one mind, and uh, they have Sith roots that connect them, and they're basically, we are the Borg. And again, this is written by the lady who is a Star Trek fan. When they said, may the Force be with you, she threw up the live long and prosper. So uh, the lady that likes Star Trek, uh, that created, or I, I don't know if she is completely responsible for creating all these characters because it was kind of a group effort. Uh, you would think that they would have some kind of Star Wars lore expert there, <clears throat> Pablo Hidalgo, who's a fucking idiot, uh, who's made it his life mission to destroy Gina Carano and to erase Gina Carano from everything. Uh, go If you guys want to know more about that, go watch this video uh, that I have here up on the screen. The link is in the description of this video uh, that Drunk 3PO did, really highlighting how Pablo Hidalgo is a fucking piece of shit human being and went out of his way to destroy Gina Carano and is erasing her from Star Wars lore and history. Uh, again, go check out that video. You want to see more on that. So he is the lore expert that was supposed to be there at the round table for the High Republic. Well, guess what? He didn't point out that, hey, this is a ripoff of Star Trek and that this is a Borg uh, plant. Also that the idea of having a fucking rock, again, a ripoff of Star Trek with the Horta, uh, is probably not the best fucking idea. Did he have anything to say about that? That, no, we're just gonna have uh, this weirdo, full-grown man talking about sex with this young lady, and uh, even though he doesn't like to have sex because he's asexual and he's also a drug addict. What a great story for young adults and children. Great. Uh, but we're not allowed to criticize it because, remember, Disney, uh, Star Wars is for kids, about uh, Space Wizards intended for children. Anyways, everyone, let me know what you think about this video and everything I showed you. Uh, I think it's fucking bullshit, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And until next time, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know if you didn't know already that I have an Etsy where I sell prints of my artwork. I got horror villains, Marvel, DC, and Star Wars characters. The latest Star Wars character that I just added was the one, the only, Gina Carano as Cara Dune. Now Gina herself even loved the painting. So if you want to go check that out, the link is in the description of this video. They are selling like crazy and I am still only in the pre-sale, so go pick that up before they're gone. Also, if you want to see a video of me painting painting and explaining how to paint like this, go over and check out my art channel. The link is in the description of this video. Go over, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss it when I post the video. Everyone, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.